consider what had actually been seen. Mademoiselle Rosalie saw Jacqueline fire her pistol. She saw Doyle collapse to the floor, and then turning away to seek help, she ran into Monsieur Ferguson, who had heard the shot. All he saw was Doyle clutching a red-stained handkerchief to his leg. He quite naturally assumed that Doyle had been shot, but the assumption was wrong. The bullet had not gone into Doyle, but elsewhere. And now what happens? Doyle insists that Jackie be taken away to her cabin and not be left alone. And so Jackie is helped to her cabin by Mademoiselle Rosalie and Monsieur Ferguson. Then, Mademoiselle Rosalie goes to fetch Miss Bowers. And accordingly, all the activity is centered on the starboard side of the boat. Bowers! Two minutes are all that Doyle needs. He takes off his shoes, picks up the gun from under the sofa, where Jackie had thoughtfully thrown it so that it would be forgotten until later, and runs like a hare along the port deck. He then enters his wife's cabin. Doyle then takes Madame Van Schuyler's stool, which he had previously hidden, and wrapping the gun up in it in order both to muffle sound and to prevent scorching, fires a bullet into his own leg. <laughs> he removes one of the spent cartridges, which he disposes of and inserts a fresh one, thus indicating, should the gun be found, that only two bullets had been fired from it. <laughs> he then rewraps the gun in the stone, adds the stained handkerchief and a marble ashtray to make sure that it all sinks to the bottom and throws the whole bundle out of the window into the knife. And now he lies back on the sofa, clasping a fresh handkerchief to his leg, this time in genuine agony. It's extraordinary, Miss Bunn. It's impossible. I can scarcely believe it. Of course it is. Absolutely bloody impossible. Why do you say it's impossible? You yourself told me that you heard softly running feet. What reason was there for anyone to run? Yes, I know, but all that on the spur of the moment. Once and for all, mon colonel, it was not on the spur of the moment. It was carefully planned. By Doyle? Oh, Doyle. He merely acted the part. It was planned by his accomplice. Mademoiselle Jacqueline de Belfort. 